calorimetry calculations are in every chem trial. These are the three mistakes that you're going to make in your exam if you don't know about them. The third one will cost you the most marks. Mistake one is confusing the mass, not knowing that it's the mass of what you are eating. This could refer to water, a solution which may have a different density or something else. The second and most common mistake is mixing up the moles because moles changes depending on what reaction you're doing. If we're finding delta H from a dissolution or combustion, N refers to the reactant used. How much solid did you dissolve or how much fuel did you burn? Where it gets tricky is if instead we're looking at neutralization. In this case, moles actually refers to the moles of water formed as a product from neutralization. And there is confusion sometimes as well because you have water being being heated at the same time. The mass that you're heating is different to the mass of water that you're forming. Finally, the third and most costly mistake that can actually happen across any calculation where there's a constant is that you match your units wrong. In these calculations, C is a constant, which you can get from your data sheet as 4.18 times 10 to the 3 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. And so what matching your units means is when you talk about Q, Q has to be in terms of joules every time you use it to use it for this equation. Or your mass has to be in terms of kilograms, otherwise you'll be out by a factor of a thousand. And same for Kelvin as well. So save this for later so you don't make these mistakes. And if you're looking to maximize your chemistry marks this year, follow us at Catalyst Chemistry, we'll be posting much more chem content just like this.